I am Shilpa. Today's session features an interview with Atishay Jain, a student at Bits Pilani and today we will discuss Bits Pilani campus courses and beyond. This video will also help you in understanding Bits Pilani admission process, interconnected campuses and no reservation policy, Bitsa global network, practice school allocation system, life of a student at Bits Pilani, hub of entrepreneurship and new venture creation, internship placement and exchange programs, and which campus of Bits Pilani is the best. The admission process is pretty straightforward. It's like the other IITs and NITs. So first what happens is you give your Bitsat and the good thing is, good or bad, you can say uh, the score is displayed on the spot. As soon as your paper is finished, you get your score. So what I suggest the next steps would be, you can go go to your home and check the previous year cutoffs and you'll have a decent idea of what branch you'll be getting. Then within a month, uh, there is a portal on the website wherein you have to register for the admissions based on your BITSAT score. So therein it takes into account your BITSAT score and then your registration is complete for the admi admission. Then what happens is, there are iterations. So during your first iteration, you get to fill your preference order. That preference order has the campuses, Pilani, Goa, Hyderabad and Dubai, of course. And then you have to select what branch you prefer in each campus. So what you can do is you can shuffle the campus and the branches. For example, I prefer computer science in Pilani, then computer science in Goa, then in Hyderabad and so on and so forth. Then, uh, then these iterations go on, just like the normal JOSA counselling of JE mains. So what happens is your results are released in each iteration and you have to either freeze your seat or move to the next iteration. Within a month, uh, a month and a half, these iterations get over and then you get allotted a campus and yeah, your college life starts. Uh, first, I would talk about reservation policy as this is a more straightforward point. So I firmly believe that merit should be a criteria on which you get selected in colleges. Uh, we have seen that I'm not saying reservation is bad, but it's it's a government aided scheme and it focuses more on government's resources and their distribution. So Bitspilani being a privately held institute, which is recognized as an institute of eminence by the government, it does not have any reservation policy. So uh, be it you are of any gender, any caste, any background, everyone is held at the same platform. And this makes the whole process a lot more fair to the students. And we feel more secure in getting our branch and college. So I think that's a great thing which sets us apart. And interconnected campus, so yeah, uh, we have Pilani, Goa, Hyderabad and Dubai. So the courses in these campuses are same and the placements also are more or less similar if they're online. So uh, when I talk about the courses being same, the grading is different for different campuses, but it's very easy to connect with the alumni and students of other campuses because there are events like Interbits or our fest, uh, technical fest like Apogee, Oasis, in which all the three campuses actively participate. So there's a lot of learning exchange between these campuses. For example, if there's someone starting up in the Goa campus, I'll definitely have information about it and uh, I can easily mail him or reach out to him through LinkedIn or through our bits mail and tell him that I am interested in your project and I want to contribute. So yeah, that's a very great thing about bits. The two great strengths of any old college or any like legacy college, say IIT Delhi, IIT Bombay, Bits Pilani. So we've been there since uh, 1964, 1965. So what happens is uh, if someone has graduated in say 1970, it's been almost 50 years since he graduated and he's almost close to his re retirement, like, right? So he has achieved everything there is to achieve in life. and. Through this Bitsa network, people seldom do donate. People often do donations. They visit campus. So, day before yesterday only, the batch of 1975 visited our campus. 
so they were just casually walking around in the campus and we received a mail that batch of 75 is here you can just go on and meet them so we as students just went there asked questions we were we were having maggie with them we were just chit chatting with them all around and they shared some really valuable lessons that what to do they even they even end up providing internships if they like someone say they are a founder of a company they say why don't you join us for 3 months or 6 months so that's how bitsa helps and one more thing bitsa does is donations so last week only there was an alumni ajay mr ajay upadhyay sir so he donated a large sum of 6 crore rupees to open a center for financial market and excellence so every alumni who has reached somewhere in their career and if they are excellent in their field so they make generous amounts of donation of their knowledge and wealth to open certain departments in bits or learning centers in bits so that more and more students can you know come up with such great ideas and be successful in life so i think that's a great strength of bits ps allocation is the uh, is the system wherein uh, bits institute provides internships to students so what happens is in most colleges uh, people do internships in their pre final year either it's on campus some companies come and you get placed in them and then you go for your placement cycle in bits it's a bit different so in your four year program uh, there is one ps2 and there is ps uh, ps1 and ps2 so after your second year there is ps1 so based on your uh, cgpa the institute allots you an internship just the, right after your second year so right after your second year you have the experience of working in an industry and you can easily identify whether i like working in say software development or not straight after your second year and for that you don't have to externally apply or you know have a proper resume or something and from there on you can start applying for off campus internships and same happens for ps2 ps2 is in your fourth year so one semester is just working you don't have to do any courses and you get credits for just working in a company and around 70% of the students convert their ps2 into full time placements so that's a great thing uh, that's a great way of getting jobs actually so instead of placements we have two streams from where you can get internships and jobs while being in college first of all i'll talk a bit about my hostel life so the greatest friends i've made ever in my life are my hostel buddies so in hostel we have something known as the wing system so there is a group there you can form a group of 10 to 12 people who can apply for a wing and they get rooms next to each other so you actually get to decide who your neighbor is who your wing mates are who your uh, line is so you can just chill with them you can you can create startups with them i mean i have seen startups forming out of wings in hostel rooms that is very common we do we do a lot of fun stuff i mean uh, last night only people were playing football in the corridors at 3 am because today is a holiday on ram navmi so yeah it's a lot of fun people celebrate birthdays people people cry together they laugh together during placements they celebrate like crazy so yeah hostel life is fun and a major part of the student life here is the zero attendance policy you all might have heard so if you have that clarity in your life ki i want to pursue a startup or say i can study on my own by not going to classes and still get decent grades so bits recognizes that and gives you complete freedom to do whatever you want in your college so what i usually do is there are some courses in which the online resources are good and i don't need a professor to teach me so i save on those class hours study right before the tests or before the midterms or the final comprehensive exams and utilize that time somewhere else say doing my internships or filling my research applications or things like that so that's a good part of student life here another aspect i can talk about is the fests so 
bits bits pilani hold some of the biggest fests in india right after iit delhi iit bombay i think our oss stands with an annual budget of over 2 crores so currently also we are holding apogee the technical fest so we have majorly 3 to 4 fest one is oss the cultural fest which has music dance arts everything then there's apogee which is the technical fest which has things like rocket building ship building you know simulations robo wars things like that then we have our sports fest bossum bits open open sports meet and then we have interbits which is also a sports fest but it is interbit so bits pilani versus bits hyderabad versus bits goa so it's a lot of fun i mean i can't elaborate much on like student life in 5 minutes because it's like it's the 4 or 5 year journey which which can't be you know put into words so easily but it's it's worthwhile it's definitely worthwhile so new venture creation is actually a very sought after course in bits which you can take in your second year third year or fourth year wherein you get five credits for actually coming up with a business idea so you can form a group of four students and register for this course and if you have a business plan or a startup idea or a, or an mvp of sorts uh, so you can have semester wide mentorship for free for your startup idea wherein you are getting continuous feedback on your startup idea and getting graded for that at the same time so that's a great way of building startups apart from that there are many uh, many centers in bits to foster entrepreneurship first of all, first of all we have center for entrepreneurial excellence cel which is uh, which can be called the ecel of bits it's famous worldwide for the events it holds it it also organizes conquest in bangalore wherein it disburses amounts of over 30 lakhs to startups it's like a shark tank only but it's way it it's been happening way before shark tank wherein we actually identify startups and provide them seed capital to start actually so that's conquest and cel for you apart from that we have pides pilani and innovation and entrepreneurship development society so what that does is uh, we have a whole building here in pilani wherein startups are accelerated and incubated for example i am a student i have a startup idea but i don't know where to start so what i'll do is i'll get my co-founders i'll create a pitch deck register with pides so what pides does is they will provide you initial funding office space and resources which you need to actually start building up they can connect you with certain vcs and angel investors so you can just directly schedule a meet with them and go on to pursue your startup idea and another recent development which happened last to last month was that bits has started providing a one year gap to students if they wish to pursue startups for example i am in my third year and i want to directly pursue a startup i want to see if it succeeds or not but i don't want to do it while studying so i don't want to hamper my academics as well so bits allows you to take a take an year gap in between so what you can do is between your third and fourth year you can take 12 months to particularly work on your startup and see if it succeeds or not and your academics won't be hampered at all so i think these are some of the few things which sets bits apart in terms of entrepreneurship and you can see that bits has been consistently ranked the second or first also sometimes in terms of the number of startups incubated number of startups generated by you know studying students or the amount of funding those startups gets one thing uh, which i had made sure before entering bits was ki i have studied a lot for my je during my 11th and 12th and now i am done studying at least for some time i need a break i want to actually see what happens after college how it works out so we have a very strong club and department culture so i got my first internship through the bitsa network only through the alumni network there was a club senior who was working at a startup and i just asked him whether i can work and contribute some things to that startup and you can you know learn while you work and earn actually so people make a decent amount also working on this internships 
and apart from that if you don't want to source internships off campus on your own through seniors or some other form say cold mailing or networking um i talked about ps1 and ps2 right that's practice school 1 practice school 2 so you get one internship after your second year practice school 1 then one internship at the end of your fourth year your last semester that is practice school 2 and then your placement season starts so the placement season starts from your fourth year first semester and it goes on for the entire year so companies keep on coming to campus a route mail is circulated there is a platform called superset on which there is information about what ctc a company is off- offering how many candidates will it take what are the branch requirements the cgpa requirements so you can submit your resume accordingly and you can just go and sit for the interview or the coding test or whatever kind of test that company is taking so that is the placement scenario currently uh, i mean all the top companies are coming for placement say for consulting or uh, bcg mckinsey bain they are coming again for it everyone google microsoft adobe tower research everything is coming recently there has been a boom in companies looking for high frequency trading uh, students and hfts and they are providing crazy packages they are also coming so i think we are at par with the top colleges in the country and we are even defeating some of them so the placements are also going they are currently also going some companies are coming to campus they are having their interview so yeah that's it that's it for placements then exchange programs so exchange programs we have uh, some universities linked with bits like university of hiroshima there is nus singapore which take certain amount of students every year for their exchange program so what happens is in between your semester for example the you have 25 credits there is a credit system so you are rated say a a minus b b minus on all those 25 credits and then your cgpa is generated so what you can do is through exchange program you can register in some other university and do some credits there so i can actually go and study in singapore for one semester while getting grades here in pilani so that's a great way we also collaborate with mytax which provides scholarship to study in canada so that's also about exchange i have seen a lot of my batchmates going to canada going to germany going to singapore hiroshima japan to to pursue either 3 months of exchange program or a semester long exchange program so those are the ways in which exchange programs take place here i think this is a very subjective call for example if i was staying in hyderabad i might prefer hyderabad campus because it's close to my home moreover uh, during the cutoffs there is a general pattern that cutoffs of pilani are higher than hyderabad and goa and hyderabad are somewhat similar so i would say that dubai campus is yet to develop and more people are not actually planning to go outside india so i would compare these three campuses only which are pilani goa and hyderabad so pilani campus is definitely the oldest right so it has that legacy it has those 100 year old buildings it has those alums which have passed 50 years ago so i think that's unmatched in goa and hyderabad but in goa and hyderabad i would say there are some particular courses for example the computer science culture in goa is fabulous or say the eni branch in hyderabad some people say that's amazing so i would say while selecting campuses you have to make a combination of the campus and the branch for example if you are if you are interested in computer science and you are getting computer science in hyderabad but getting electrical or say mechanical in pilani i would definitely choose computer science in hyderabad because i am actually interested in computer science if not if you don't know what you are interested in then you can play safely and just opt for pilani then goa some people want to chill on the beaches of goa so goa campus is nicer for them some people want the metropolitan life of hyderabad in their four years so hyderabad is better for them but i think the core structure is very similar the buildings are different the teachers are different the faculty is different the alumni is different 
uh, if you're solely asking for from an academic perspective then i think all the three campuses are at par but in terms of legacy and history i think pilani is there ahead